controversy. It's my boo. I can make a quarter million off a high cool. Hey y'all, good night. You see, we're all dressed up. New hairstyle, the pony is ponying. <laughs> Um, it's my friend's birthday and we're about to head to dinner. I don't even want to touch anything because I'm wearing white. So we're about to head to dinner. We're super freaking late because Sima had work. I had work to do. The outfit. Well, part of the outfit. <laughs> Why are you pulling on my skirt? Y'all gonna see the rest of the outfit later, but let's go. We have finally arrived. Ooh, I'm gonna drop. What's up, baby? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good? A headache, but <laughs> my baby got a headache, y'all. He got a slight cold. You want me to nurse you, baby? <laughs> Quick outfit. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs>
headed to the mall to do some returns and some shopping i feel like i'm ready to do some christmas decor shopping or like to see hey, nah, you didn't give me the heads up it was all that. no no i didn't say today babe i'm like i feel like soon but not necessarily today i have to like map out what i want different areas that i'm supposed to look like oh, that's fine, yeah. yeah but i didn't mean today but i want to see what's happening and whatnot so the aim for today, I need to return something to Zara. We want to get some workout clothes. We're going to get some like shirts, some simple like tees and stuff from H&M. And uh, yeah, I think I want to go to um, Sephora as well. I need a um, SPF moisturizer because I can't be bothered to be doing two different products. So I think I want to get the Fenty Beauty moisturizer. Because it used to work for me. I don't know why I stopped buying it. So I'm going to get a new one. Is there anything on your agenda today? Get in. Get out. Oh, no, no, pause. Stop, stop, stop the track. Wim said he's never voted, but if he was to vote, he'd vote Tiana Trump. Who is Tiana Trump? Tiana Trump is a porn star. A pro How you know that? She probably on Twitter all the time. I don't know what we need. We didn't get. A, we didn't make a grocery list this time, babe. I feel slightly lost. What are you looking at? Jalapeno, chili, chili, um, chocolate. Are you trying to push? So there's this guy on TikTok that like Mr. Chris Chris the same crap market it differently just so they can No listen I don't know Didn't you see a regular? Okay. Wait, huh? No, there were the ones that I have. Let's see here. Alright, good, good, good. Jessica, Jessica. You want the blue one? Yeah, okay. But this is the expiry next month. That's good. What's that? Something that's something like. Yeah, because it's it's. How long did you ask a question? Exactly. So I'll take this this one. Thank you. Ooh, I love a working man. 
Groceries completed. Mm, but to have food in the house. It's my boo. I can make a quarter million off a high cool, and I can make another quarter off it times two. If it's money on the table, I'll be on it like Bobby or Epic. You peep the aesthetic, it's hard to forget it. I hear you talking, but you're hardly right. I'm the voice of your prototype. Mm. Summertime and then why? Where you find a place? This is so nice. We need to get a ledge over the fireplace to put this on. You like it? I don't know where this could go. You know what I was thinking? You see that, that ledge that leads to the, the kitchen from the living room? If I have a wreath, what do you call it? Wreath garland over that. But you come downstairs and you enter the kitchen, like right there, so that would look really good for Christmas before. Like really nice. So we need to get our wreath. wreath garland. garland. <laughs> a garland. You're enjoying this. You are, you love Christmas. Can't you tell I'm enjoying this? Yeah, I can see it. You are having the freaking time of your life. Love Christmas here. Definitely love Christmas. You are so pretty. She got no idea what she put in none of these things. What you putting that? I don't know, but it's so pretty. Let me see. What's those Jerry beads? <laughs> what? Jerry beads? I know. Listen, I know you used to watch Jerry Springer when you're home from school. <laughs> you know you gotta get a Jerry beads. No, I don't even know what that is. Tell the truth. I don't know what that is. I swear to God. So the women on the show when they're flashing titties, <laughs> makes it show little <laughs> Jerry beads in the crowds. Beads like them. I like the mystic days when I was younger. They were blood out, of course, but you know. What the heck? And then the crowd would chant, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Did it bring my memories? No, it doesn't. I don't know Siobhan, you never watched Jerry Springer? No, I didn't actually. Siobhan. I did watch Mari, but I didn't watch Jerry Springer. You see a girl can love? They used to come out back to back. That is not a palm tree that is found in the island. What is it, what is it me? Oh my god, why would you have a raccoon that likes it? Where do you actually like here raccoons? Ugly little creatures. Mitten. You know, like by the fireplace, you're going to put it by the ledge. So when you're coming up, the, coming up the stairs from the foyer. You know. Should not you do that? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was that total stop for me? Love you.
That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Come on. Parmigiana punch. It's thick. It's thick, yeah. It's okay. It tastes like um something else in there. Banana. I don't drink anything with banana. That's why. I don't. What's the raspberry? It tastes like, but it's definitely banana. But it tastes good, don't it? It's okay, but I don't like banana in my drink. But it, it didn't know until I said it was mm -hmm. banana. Cause there's something weird in there, something I'm not used to. But the, the pomegranate punch one, it's more, it more greedy. Very much so. And I like that. Good fiber. I like this one better, even though I don't like banana. Yeah. Okay, um, it is afternoon time on a Saturday. Y'all see my hair? My hair is so cute. Mm. <laughs> I love these invisible locks. They look more like twists, but the whole point is to mimic like someone getting a fresh retwist of their locks and then put it in, in a twist. But anyway. Yeah. What are you looking at me? You don't want to get in here? Exactly, I do. You want this style or you want something else? I don't know. What are you ready to do in here? I got free time next week, maybe. Monday? Monday. Probably not Monday. Wait, you're free Monday? If you're free Monday, I could work around you. Okay. Monday or Period. Period. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Um, I got booster juice. Um, I got ooh, that burger look hard. What do you mean? It probably just want warm up. I saw her make that fresh with her my own eyes. Mm. Is it hard? Uh uh, not hard. It just want warm up. Oh. I got our chicken penny. You said penny or peeny? Panini. Panini? Yes. You're it's sure? It's P A N I N I, right? Panini. I'm, I don't know. Anyway, um, booster juice, though. It depends on the booster juice, though, because some people booster juice don't be booster juicy. You feel me? Mm hmm. <laughs> I need to warm this up. Somebody score? No. World Cup is going on. It's Mexico versus Argentina. And Argentina isn't looking too good. Okay? They ain't looking good at all. My team is Portugal. They don't know. Well, they don't know. I'm just tell you. And obviously, you know, since we live here and whatnot, we're going to support Canada. Yeah, we're gonna support Canada. Siobhan, we're not gonna make it pass. You don't know that. Don't say that. I think you say Drake took a picture with one of them. <laughs> for the Drake car. <laughs> Yo, I hear it next time. I need to go sit down. I don't hear anything. You're dead. Um, I also got um chia, coconut chia pudding. Oh my god. Love chia pudding, especially freshy. Love fresh chia pudding. I've been trying to, you know, get the right. I don't have the ingredients on here, but I don't tell the measurement of each ingredient because I've been trying to make chia pudding and it hasn't been coming out well. <laughs> look at it. I'm gonna keep it. It doesn't look the same, like at all. Why is mine more black? And this is not white chia seeds. It look like black chia seeds, right? It is black chia seeds. But I don't know why mine looks so. Mm. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna keep trying to like get the accurate measurement because they're chia pudding. In. Did I get a spoon? Oh yeah. Can I try it? Yeah. Come. Oh. You can have it first. I'm not gonna. No, but my stomach's sick. Well, I'm not sick, but I have a cold. Okay, I'll get a different spoon. No, but you can't use the same spoon. Where you gonna dirty up a spoon and I'll wash it? You don't wanna do a first test? I know how it is. <clears throat> Check this, please. Is this a good drink? Yes, yeah, sir. There's a lot of coconut on it, though. You can't come sit and taste good. What is coconut? 
You're gonna digging up all of my shit. Give it. Alright, enough of that. Mm. Did you say you like it? I don't yeah, like it. It's a nice healthy mm -hmm. thing. You know, sometimes healthy food is just like. But this actually tastes good. Like simple. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What's wrong? No, don't you have those by itself or? I have one right here. Is it only one size, the chia pudding? They yeah, tell it's one size here. Yeah. I ain't not supposed to eat like more than that amount for the day. What protein or? Um, I don't know, I'm just read some of not supposed to <laughs> eat fast a certain amount. You can put it in your food. You can stroke it for your pizza. It's good for you. Help with constipation and crunchy and all that shit. Christmas decorations so I think I'm gonna put up my Christmas stuff this weekend um, tomorrow is Sunday so I might just start tonight but anyway that's for the next vlog we're gonna do a full Christmas decor excuse me decor type of thing but what I wanted to end this vlog off with um, is that I got my biopsy results for my skin and I got it almost three weeks ago i got the results back and you know since the beginning of this channel the very very beginning with the natural hair journey and all of that i told you guys that one of the initial reasons why i went natural is because my hair was falling out due to eczema on my scalp and um doing perming my hair or chemical treatment or anything like that usually um, caused severe burning because my skin was so sensitive my scalp was super sensitive so perm just wasn't an option for me and so I went into the natural hair journey but my hair kept falling out like it would be good for a couple of a couple of months or a year and then 
um, it starts falling on hence why I got so many big chops or I you know continuously trim or cut my hair to make sure that everything is leveled because um, even recently like probably two months ago um, I noticed that that particular section in the left over here started peeling out again like it was creating a ball spot so for the last year plus I haven't done much natural hair videos because I just wasn't in I can, wrong word I'm not gonna say I wasn't in love with my hair because I'm not ever gonna change from being natural like no it's not I'm never gonna perm again but um my hair just wasn't doing it for me because it wasn't the healthiest it kept falling off it was brittle it was dry it was just everything and I just couldn't be bothered with it so it would be like protective styles like this I love cute little creating cute little styles or wearing wigs like that's my that's my thing so until my hair gets to a place that it makes sense for me and only me not because of what everybody else want oh yeah we want more this that, that, that I have a ton of videos on different natural hairstyles different treatments all of that like it's already all here unless something new and super innovative comes back around and my hair gets to a place where you know like it naturally should be because I did everything that I could but Anyway, so I did the biopsy. I'm saying all of that to say, since the beginning of this channel, I have told you guys that I have eczema. I was diagnosed with eczema, just like a lot of people. But my skin just has been getting severely worse. Like, my skin is changing drastically. And I had to get a skin biopsy done and turns out I don't have eczema never had eczema I was misdiagnosed for years and it turns out I have an autoimmune disease so I have an autoimmune disease called morphia actually it's a cross or the correct term is that it's an overlap of two autoimmune skin diseases can't pronounce the second one. I don't quite remember because I'm just talking off the top of my head because I really just want to say something. Since I already brought it up in previous vlogs about doing a biopsy. I'm going to put a name here for what it's called. So it is an autoimmune disease. It's nothing painful. I'm not in pain. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just my cells, my body, my immune system attacking my skin. I don't know if it thinks it's a foreign situation going on like i have a cold right now like get to the cold why are you attacking my skin like i'm making fun of it no i'm making jokes right now because i've kind of been sitting on it for three weeks so i'm more comfortable so yeah so you can do your own googling for it because i'm still learning still coming to terms with it that's why i haven't really said anything so um it's not curable it's not something they know what triggers or causes, so it's not anything that I eat. It's not um, living conditions. It's it's none of that. It's just something that I don't know what triggers because anybody could have an autoimmune disease. It's just your body. Some are hereditary and all of that. So with this particular skin disease. They don't know what caused it or it's just my cells doing this. Like they asked me if anybody in my family has an autoimmune. Not to my knowledge, I asked. But I don't have anyone in my family with an autoimmune disease. So yeah, so we talked treatment um, in a couple of weeks, maybe like two and a half weeks. I have um, a session of what's it called it's called phototherapy not quite done with my research on phototherapy for skin conditions I've read on the surface um, none of these things as I said this disease is not curable but none of these things are guaranteed to make it you know make this side look like this side like regular again like nothing is guaranteed it's all about treatment not cure so I have this phototherapy session 
in three weeks at um, a hospital, um, I was prescribed a steroid cream and it's high, the word is potent, I think it's potent, it's, high, it's very high, yeah, that's, I think that's the word. Anyway, so it's a very strong steroid cream that I've been using, I've been using it for a week and a half, so I'm supposed to use it for two weeks, then I'm supposed to be off it because it's cause, it causes skin thinning. So I need to be off of it and then go back on after that full week of a break. Then two weeks again until I get to my next appointment to assess changes and all of that. So I've been using it for a week and a half. Um, I don't know if I've seen much changes, but it's been a week, right? So mm, as you guys can see, I'm like, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm just all over the place, honestly. Because, you know, it's not every day you, you learn that you have some type of disorder of some sort. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I would be more okay if it was eczema. Is that weird? Because I was, I was hoping that it was something normal. Because <laughs> eczema, even though eczema has different forms and everything, it's like something that, oh, you're very famil form familiar with because you see it in ads, you see it... Um, in the products they use over for eczema relief all of that but i knew in the back of my head that it was an eczema because i didn't have the characteristics of eczema my skin doesn't crack it just it just got super shiny over the last couple of years but before it would be like here where it's just like really soft if i'm in the dark i won't feel it but now i can actually feel the difference in my skin especially here this is the worst part because it's starting to um go white in certain areas but yeah like i don't know if it was something more something more known or more common but to hear that you have a rare skin disease it's like um especially one doctors don't quite know what to do with are they still doing research on this particular skin disorder like it's still not very clear you know so it's like are you going to be the tester or the, the case study? You know when you're in science class or whatever, you read all these case studies about stuff. Are you going to be a case? Am I going to be a case study? <laughs> you know, because another thing is that uh, my doctor told me that it is a skin condition mostly found in middle-aged white women. Like, shit. <laughs> like ain't no middle-aged white woman over here you know so it's like how how am i involved in this why am i in it like if it's more commonly found in caucasian or um women of european descent so it's strange and then it had me thinking like is it that it's found in mostly European descent women or is it that other demographic of people don't get tested for other things except for misdiagnosed with certain things like most doctors they just come out and give a diagnosis like it's nothing without actually doing proper testing because thinking about it, this is years of progression. This is years of progression. The first time I saw like my skin looking different with certain spots or bruise like looking was when I was 18. I'm 28. That's 10 years of progression. So if I wasn't misdiagnosed or as soon as it starts changing because i could say okay they say it's harder to diagnose it in the first couple of years because it could look like a bruise it could look like anything you know what i'm saying but when it starts looking like this like shiny and the skin looks different and also it, it's discriminating against the size of my body because it's literally only on my left side it's literally only on one side of my body so i guess the early diagnosis might be a little bit hard but I feel like as people of color black people in particular we get misdiagnosed a lot we are often ignored because 
even researching the name morphia and looking at different um of the case studies and different articles and stuff there's nobody black where i could have compared my skin to and be like mm, yeah that looks like my skin like you hardly see anything like when you google medical conditions and stuff it's you don't see much black skin or black bodies to make that analysis and compare to so again i say is it that we are so often misdiagnosed as soon as they see, see like a skin discoloration or a skin change it's like mm, it's either it's either eczema a heat rash or hyperpigmentation just because of hormone or something because i remember even someone on this channel was like oh it might be heat rash how it gonna be heat rash this this is even a rash it's flat how is it how it's gonna be a heat rash and I live in Toronto, it's cold as hell 8 out of 12 months of the year. And when it's hot, I'm inside during the summer with the AC blasted. Like, it's not a heat rash. I used to live in Jamaica. I wouldn't know if I would be, was getting heat rashes on the regular. It's, no. So we are, we're often misdiagnosed with the most basic and simple thing. And I'm like, does everybody have eczema? Is it that everybody have eczema or is it that everybody's not being diagnosed properly for different things that are not just common in one demographic of people who have more access to health care? You know? So um, right now, I am coming to terms with it. I think I was shying away because I realized you don't realize stuff until later on that you you real you later realize that you were mentally doing something that you didn't know you were doing or unconsciously doing something that you didn't know you were doing like I discovered that I wear mostly long sleeve clothing um when I'm shopping if it's not up to here I don't want it or if it's not covering here, I wear a lot of big chunky jewelry to cover my arm. Like there's so many things that I've been doing for the last year that I unconsciously didn't know I was doing. Even with my clothing hauls, I dread summer because summer is where we wear less clothes because it's too hot. I go on a lot of trips and I go to tropical places but I try to find silky type loose fitting type cotton breathable long sleeve clothing going to a tropical place because as it was getting worse and not knowing what it was because at this point I know it wasn't eczema because the characteristics characteristics is just different because I was thinking like if my doctor my previous doctor because I got a new doctor who was a black woman that has been freaking phenomenal with how many things she took notice of with me but if my doctor before that a non-black person um she was a woman of color but a different um race or whatever and she was very dismissive of a lot of things that was concerning to me and at that point i'm like y you're really not taking me serious enough to realize that my skin is changing Something is happening and it's not eczema because it's it's two different sides of my body. Like eczema doesn't discriminate. If you're gonna have eczema, you're gonna have it on your neck, you're gonna have it on your elbows, like cracking with some people, all of that. Like you see characteristics and I wasn't having any of those. Like don't it's like me screaming like hello, there's something wrong. There was something on my forehead this one time, this big old cis bump, like it was huge. And she was like, Oh, it will just pop on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that thing popped, it was disgusting. Like, I was so concerned. Like, I was like, do I have something happening? I don't even want to call any type of terms of what I thought it was. But it was a lot of things. So when I finally got this doctor, this back doctor, um, I found out I was B12 deficient. So all those seasonal depression that I was going through and all of that um, tiredness, all of that... Um, emotional change different type of things i was going through was because i was b12 deficient as soon as i went on b12 shots 
I was hardly dull. I can't tell you the last time I was in my bed just staring into space, wondering or just scared for life. You know what I'm saying? Like going like I was going through some serious depression in the last couple of years. Like every time it came to this time of year, I was dreading it so much. And I think that was one of the reasons why I wanted to travel so much because it made me move around. It exposed me to more sunlight, especially when it becomes gloomy in Canada. And just discovering that I had a B12 deficiency, something so freaking simple and easy to find because all the signs were there. It disguised itself as depression a lot of time. As soon as I get on it, I was okay. She also ran these different types of tests for the skin, and that is when we found out that there was something wrong with my immune system, which was she did an autoimmune test, and it came back. I don't know if the, the term you use the term negative, like a negative test or whatever, but there was something with my cell count, and that's how she knew that there was something with the autoimmune, and then she brought up lupus because you know lupus attacks the skin and the organs and the joints but i didn't have any of those other things but you have some different types of lupus where some is dormant for a particular time in life and so forth so that's when she she um recommend me to a kidney specialist a disease specialist like a bunch of people free of cost to me that she recommended for me to go see and the dermatologist referral get it done so i needed that i needed somebody to a doctor that actually cared because in canada healthcare is universal but it depends on the neighborhood that you live in because the, the the doctor was going to it was a high immigrant neighborhood when we just moved to canada and then we moved away from there and so even though it's universal, the, the neighborhood where the doctor office is makes a huge difference. I feel like I'm going all over the place because I'm like telling you guys all this information that's in my head. But um, the dermatologist suggested four different types of treatments. So the first one um, is a type of medication that is used to suppress the immune system. And what she said to me had me puzzled because she was like um it has properties in there that they use for abortions i'm 28 i'm definitely trying to have a kid i don't know when but it will i want it to happen so i'm not going to do anything to my body that could prevent me from having that type of future even if my skin has to stay like this it's gonna stay like this like that's a no-go because it caused so many different side effects with that medication because it's used for suppressing the immune system so it doesn't attack your body. I'm like, this sounds like something more for somebody with a serious ailment because there's different categories of autoimmune diseases. That sounds like somebody going through it, like organs shutting down, like... Ain't no way like th this is this is this is this is just this is skin. Yeah, I'm not in pain or nothing like that No, no to that medication that will um, Hurt my bones hurt my 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 other organs suppress my immune system so much Especially during a global pandemic of COVID different variants and all of that even though we're going back to normal life, but it's still shit out there other than COVID that could cause serious health conditions if my immune system isn't functioning properly by suppressing it just to make my skin clear i don't think so so that's a no because it will weaken my immune system by trying to protect my skin but expo expose me to other things no i'm not interested so that was a definite no as soon as she said that no then the other the other suggestion was a steroid I told my mom about it. My mom was like, no. <laughs> um, you know, this, you've seen side effects of steroids. Like, steroids could cause, like, this hyperactive or hyper, hyper somethingness. Okay, hyper everythingness. She said, she said hypertension for one of the medications. I think it was the first one she, she said I could have hypertension for. I'm like, no, girl. <laughs> um, the type of steroids, so... You can get addicted to steroids. 
um, hyperactiveness, insomnia, um, irritability. Um, there's just a, just a whole bunch of side effects to steroids that I'm like, I'm not interested in. I already don't sleep well, so I can't imagine taking something that's going to prevent me from sleeping properly even more than I don't sleep. So it's like, mm, no. I don't like the idea of any type of drug being addictive. I'm not interested in. No, this is extremely detrimental, but this is not extremely detrimental for me. Right? And then the other two was um, the steroid cream, which I am currently using because I opted for the cream. I'm I'm going I'm to take the cream. She said it's going to cause skin thinning. That my skin is already thick. <laughs> so I'm reading the side effects and all of that. It's most it's mostly about the continuous use. So I, I give my skin breaks in between use, like prescribed and recommended. And then the second option is phototherapy, which I am going to do. So I'm gonna do the the, the phototherapy and I'm gonna stick to the cream. That's if it, if it works, it works. Uh, right now, I think I'm more at peace with it because I know what it is. I think I was unconsciously doing all those other things like covering my body a little bit more my upper body was because i didn't know what it was but now knowing what it is i feel like i own it i'm more confident like i don't mind coming on here showing y'all um i feel like i am slowly moving towards just being comfortable in my skin again because i used i'm i'm this super confident person and I feel like it was starting to eat away at my confidence and I was not having that. I can't, I can't have that. I can't have it doing that. So knowing it is a breather. I know earlier I said like, uh, I wish it was eczema, all of that. But I think being rear is, I don't want to say, <laughs> I say beautiful, that's so cliche. But being rear is different because I'm different. You know, I'm I'm different and I'm 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 becoming okay with being different because I think unconsciously I just feel like everybody is just watching my skin when they probably aren't. You know, there's people with burns on their skin, there's people with um different types of skin conditions already with their skin and you know you can't you can't weigh people's confidence different from oh that person has virtual like, or look how confident and beautiful she is with her whatever and then you have some people that just haven't come to terms with the idea as yet and i'm at a place right now where i am becoming i feel i feel it in my soul i'm becoming more and more open with it especially even coming on here and talking about it because i own it I know what it is now not knowing was the biggest problem for me and knowing now yeah I feel better <laughs> I feel it's, it's such a relief to be like oh finally what is this because I thought I was gonna go my whole life with not knowing and also reading a little bit of reading on it on um, morphia and stuff it's um, for some cases it regrets regress is that a right word oh god guys my vocabulary is horrible ain't it today so it for some people it does go away over time i don't know if my skin will ever go back to normal because looking at this i'm like this doesn't look like something that will go back to this you know and at this point it's whatever it's whatever i'm going on vacation next month and i did a little bit of shopping and I'm like, girl, we're not going to do only cover-ups. I'm still doing my little cover-ups and thing because even before my skin got this bad, I was, you know, like different styles or whatever. So I don't want y'all to think that if you see me in long sleeve because I'm hiding, that's not the case anymore. It's just that I probably like that outfit. But buying clothes for this next vacation, I'm going to be skin out. Skin out. Skin, skin out. So... Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And also, I guess I just wanted to bring awareness to that whole idea of if you think something is different, something is wrong, speak to uh, speak to your doctor. Like, if you need to be aggressive with it, be like, um, there's something wrong and I think you need to take a closer look. Like, if you have some type of skin issue that just isn't 
looking normal or normal eczema because people really do have eczema and then some people i feel like just don't have eczema like there's something else and they just haven't done the test yet to check it out this is this is your this is your sign if you have something that's bothering you get it checked out if you can because i know a lot of people don't have access to certain levels of health care but if you do and you can get it done get it done for your peace of mind because it's a peace of mind to know exactly what this is right now and i'm gonna just do everything that i can healthily i don't want to change anything about my body or my internal self unless it's absolutely detrimental but if it's medication that will harm here and all of here i'm not with it i'm not with anything that will harm one my insides just to fix something more superficial if it was something fatal definitely i would take them drugs you know what i'm saying but apart from that it's my skin not in any pain it's just marking skin thinning all of that as long as it's 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 still covering and protecting the inside like it's supposed to I'm not taking any type of drugs that will cause problems to anything else because taking an autoimmune suppressant for something like this it seems extremely extreme but yeah y'all that's 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 it that's all that's my little my little um info my little update life update on what's going on with the chef B body this is my little update to show y'all what it looks like and it's linear you see that it's just like in a pattern like there's literally nothing here it's just on my arm and this arm and i see a little bit under my armpit and then on my back under the boobs this is where i got the biopsy I got a little piece of my booty flesh cut. <laughs> that is what it looks like. But anywho, um, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> um, that is the end of the vlog, and that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would definitely update you guys on the progress. Um, we're doing photo therapy as I said in a couple of weeks after I come back from vacation I'm doing the photo therapy session so I'm gonna show you I, I can't I'm nervous to see what the photo therapy is about um, it's new to me so I want to do more research but that's what the, the dermatologist recommended as a safe option too so we're gonna yeah, I'm gonna take y'all to do that but um, yeah, we're keeping you updated. We're going to still live, you know, because life is fun. We're going on vacation because I deserve it. I need to be outside. And one of the things I was reading was saying vitamin D is good for you. So I'm going to get different types of vitamin D. <laughs> on vacation. I can't wait. Yay. I book, actually, I do back-to-back vacations because I deserve it, y'all. I've been working hard. Anywho, I love y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at... Damn that chef. And I'll see all beautiful people in my next video. Go on, wake up yourself. Bye guys.